they're small, essential, and in trouble. Bee populations are declining worldwide, sparking a surge in bee farming. Fox 43's bee sting survivor, Taylor, Tyler Poglich, shows how more people are trying to bring back the buzz. Bees pollinate about two-thirds of the fruits, nuts, and vegetables we eat. They sometimes may be the annoyance, but they are key to what, you know, how we live our lives. But bee populations are dropping fast. And it can have a huge impact on agriculture in the United States and around the world. With wild bees disappearing faster than free honey at a farmer's market, some people are taking matters into their own hives. The buzz around town is that backyard bee farming is buzzing, but is it a honey sweet salvation or a sticky situation? As wild bees vanish for many unknown reasons, more people are turning to bee farming to help. Whether that's starting hives in backyards, farms, or even rooftops, some are after honey. Others just want to learn more. It was just unknown to me, and it, I just wanted to learn more. So I was always interested in the natural world, uh, and the you know complexity of bees and their social structure was always just intriguing for me. Piers and Routson are members of the York County Beekeepers Association, working with others to better understand bees. Um, and I think as a beekeeper, you must uh, become in tune with their cycles and the natural cycles, um, which for me is just a way to be you know better you know um, you know in tune with your own surroundings and nature. While still some get scared of the sound of a buzz, advocates say beekeeping, along with public education and environmental changes, can be part of the solution. You know, planting a patch of wildflowers in your yard, becoming a pollinator garden. Um, there's many things you can do that don't have to put you directly in contact with honeybees like this. Whether it's backyard hives or planting bee-friendly flowers, the buzz about saving bees is growing louder. Tyler Poglich, Fox 43 News.